last pattern. A little drunken disorderly with a wedge head. And we'll talk about heads uh, designs and how that forces the fly to move in different directions. So we're just tying with a little Gamagatsu B10S size 2 hook. And this is where I will switch gears and we're going to use a gel spun thread. First thing, the tail is going to be this speckled copper brown, I think, flash, flashaboo. Take a nice amount here, half. Right. Tie down. Okay, we're just going to fold that back. There's our tail. Okay. Just cut it long because it's always easier to shorten rather than it is to lengthen tails at the end of the thing. So always go a little longer. If you have to, we can shorten it up afterwards. The body is going to be constructed of two parts. This is a polar chenille. This is one of those flashy, gaudy patterns that just, I don't know why, but it just it works sometimes so well. When you see this material, often you'll see that the material wants to go and the angle in one angle. I like tying it with in with the material that are while the angle of the material is going downward. So tie it in that way. It just tends to when you wrap it stick out. You know, hack, it hackles a lot better that way, in my opinion. Okay. And we're just maintaining kind of like a brown trout theme right now. We're going to use. This gold variant rabbit. And we're gonna palmer this. We're gonna make two or three wraps of palm of this. Now this is a, a ver like a modified version, slightly modified version of the zoo cougar. So to kind of give us that overwing, which is gonna give us kind of our, our, our wide profile when the fish are looking up. <clears throat> We're going to use mallard flank. Everything has become so much more difficult to find. Good stuff. Okay. Let's work out some of those fibers there. Good. This is going to be our overwing. We're going to tie this down so that basically this overwing goes almost right towards the tail. Right about the edge of the tail. We're going to tie this down. Okay. So you can see now when that over top, that's going to be your profile. So fish are going to, even though the fly is going to kind of compact when it's stripped, that wing right there is going to, especially on the pause, is going to kind of expand and give you that nice wide profile. So, so far there it is. Now here comes the fun part. The okay. Best part of the game. This is where I'm eventually working on my kids. I can just hand this over to the kids and say, you're up. This is really cool how it flares. <laughs> We're going to do a couple pinches on either side and then we'll spin the rest of this. So, this is my hair comb right here. Pinch the tips. Okay. I'm going to stack this a little. And the tips, when we tie the tips in, are going to go just about on the outside edge of the rabbit. So I'm tying this in. I like the 100 in the air. When you go like 50 and sometimes 75, you're talking about such a thin diameter where sometimes it's almost like a razor blade, it just cuts right through. So, 100 deniers for me, it minimizes bulk but still ha doesn't have the has a width where it doesn't slice my deer hair when I uh, apply tension or pressure. If you want, you can get fancy. Some of the guys are getting fancy and they'll actually like use different colors and give you kind of like a, a stack coloration. I don't get too wound up over that.
when you tie a, a wedge like this, can everyone see? It's without my fingers, it's going to be sometimes difficult to create like a nice whip finish. <coughs> so what you can do, it's just a modified version of the Whitlock Super Glue Splice or Whitlock Super Glue Whip Finish. So all we're going to do here is just take this flow, flow from UV balloon. Put that on our thread. Wrap all the way around. We're not collecting anything nice clean right there. Wrap. And then just take our light. And it just locks it in. It's like a super glue. So if you have super glue, you can do that. Or if you want instant gratification, and there's your whip finish. That's a way to create a nice clean head, especially when your head's starting to protrude out over the eyes. Now, we're going to pretend to be a barber for a few minutes here. Take in your flexible razor blade. And if you're suicidal, stay away from these things. Have someone else tie them for you. But we're going to create, this one is going to be a wedge head. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go straight underneath. I'm just going to shimmy. Straight back and forth. Right through. Nice, smooth. And a razor blade, honestly, you can do this with scissors. It's going to take you forever with a pair of scissors. So you get that nice flat bottom. Invert. Now, we're going to lay it right on top of the hook. I push. I'm just going to trim this. If you're an artist, this is where you love it. This is where I absolutely hate time flies because it's just so meticulous. But this wedge head, you'll find, you know, one of the things I like about the wedge, the wedge head, if you want more up and down movement, this will cut downward. So you want depth. If you're so we're just going to keep playing with this a little bit. And the other thing to consider here too is the heads on this thing. So you want to create a head. So what I'm doing, I fish mostly like five weights. Say for example, a lot of five weights. So I'm fishing like a you know 150 grain lines or like a five weight or sometimes a six weight. But what you don't want is you don't want the fly line to overpower the head of the fly or in some situations you don't want the buoyancy of the fly head to overpower the way of the fly line. Okay, so we have a nice little wedge head there. You can put eyes and do all that. I don't. We're not going to do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to trap air in this head to kind of almost create like a, a, a cylinder. And what's nice about this, you'll find with some deer hair heads, if you don't do this, eventually they kind of mat and they fold. With this, this will basically kind of lock it in. This will create almost an indestructible head on this fly. Right there, it's a drunken disorderly.